watching Amitha Verma. Do you have those little built-ins all throughout your house and wonder what do you do with those? Or do you have or wish to have a gorgeous classic antique plate rack and you're unsure on exactly how to style it? Many times these built-ins are included throughout our kitchens. So today I wanted to share a quick styling session on how to fill these kitchen bookshelves. What I love about these little projects is they are super easy to do. You can complete them in a relatively short amount of time. They don't require a huge budget and they can make a big impact in your home. So let's get started. In my own kitchen, we have two little shelves which were perfect to add a little design touch. In your own home, you can make this area a little more useful such as a place to store cookbooks or you can opt to add more of a design statement. We have another area that's perfect for cookbooks. So I used this area to add a little bit of design and personality back into my home. I knew I needed some volume to really fill up this space. So I started with these gorgeous antique French confit pots. I love the more muted color in these jars, so I used that as my starting point. I tied the colors back into my countertops, which is often where I get my color cues. Whenever I'm working on a bookshelf project, there are always a few key items that I look for. That can include large to medium sized containers, such as the confit pots, creamware, blue and white ginger pots, and other types of pottery. I look for decorative books, smaller bases and containers, unique objects to place throughout, small paintings, and my favorite tip, small easels to prop the paintings up in my bookshelves. I started in one corner and filled in my larger objects first. Whenever I'm doing this, I love to create a little bit of variety and height and also repeat the elements that I'm working with so the shelves look pleasing and well thought out in the end. So in your bookshelves, look for enough pieces that you can repeat the same color and or texture object at least three times. Next, I added in a few paintings to add some interest into the back of my shelves. Then I went back and added in a few books. I chose a few books that color coordinated with my decor and my color scheme throughout my house. Last, I go back and add smaller objects to fill in any empty spaces. And here you can see how I took these empty shelves and filled them in just a little bit to create a beautiful little pocket of design in my home. If you need a little bit more help, be sure to download the free worksheet explaining exactly how to do this along with the list of my must-have items to take with you whenever you start this project. So what do you think? Leave a comment and let us know what are you going to start with first? Looking for containers, paintings, or maybe you have it all and you're ready to jump in. Did you love this blog? If so, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. And then head over to our website to sign up for more free design tips. If you know someone who'd love a little tip on a styling session, I'd be honored if you'd share this video blog with your family, friends, and loved ones. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, keep making your home amazing with your design gifts. Now, one of these is usually very monochromatic, meaning the color will basically blend with the colors that you're already wearing.